doing sort of a five date tour on the west coast in May. Edmonton-based world folk artist Maria Dunn was preparing for a big night, a concert release of her sixth CD of original music, The Gathering. So we brace ourselves within the straight and narrow I've always been really drawn to the storytelling. She's a humanist, you know, she's telling the stories about uh, the experiences that she's had, but also the experiences that she's learnt about with studying kind of uh, the human experience. I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from artists like Pete Seeger, Woody Guthrie, uh, Dick Gauchin, uh, Cy Khan, Hazel Dickens, I just, the storytelling aspect of it has always been very important to me. One of the great consistencies about Maria Dunn's records has been her use of the McDades, outstanding local folk musicians. In fact, Shannon Johnson has produced all six of Maria's records. She has very high standards musically, but a really wonderful way with encouraging people towards those standards. Spirit real like any child, it's love I feel. You know, I I've so admire what they've done with their own project, the McDays. They're absolutely fantastic musicians, really, really talented. And for me, it's just a, it's a real pleasure and privilege to work with people of that caliber. And people who also I trust enough and know well enough that they, I welcome their suggestions in terms of arrangements and musical ideas. Always putting out a good product and having a fairly consistent artistic vision. And I think Maria is, is very good at that. You know, uh, when you hear her name or you hear the music, you have a fairly good sense, I think, of, of a basic part of what the music will be. There are always surprises and new elements that she's bringing to it. Maria Dunn's collaborations with the McDade family Shannon Johnson and writer Don Bozak, as well as the Alberta Foundation for the Arts and the Edmonton Arts Council, have all played into her growth as an internationally acclaimed folk artist. Prolific Maria had 20 new songs to choose from for her new record. There were a couple of songs that I really wanted to record and it was time to record. One is inspired by Malala Yousafzai from Pakistan and also uh, a few other sort of global subjects. Every morning I walk down here, calm and peaceful, I am home. It's amazing how she can interpret a complex and intense emotional story with one song. It's quite, quite beautiful. You work at it. For me, I actually love the process of playing with words and really pouring over in detail, line by line, lyrically, just to think, how can I best express what I'm trying to express here. Who For Go, I'm Tim Dancy.